Scratching first hit the scene in the late 70s. It was made popular by many DJs such as DJ Qbert, Grandmaster Flash, and Mixmaster Mike. Today we'll cover some basics. Uh, I've been spinning records for about three years or so. I've been scratching for about two years now. It's way more intimate with the actual spinning part of it because you actually get to manipulate the sounds that you're doing. Basically what you need to scratch is two turntables. Uh, you also need a mixer. On the turntables you are going to need slip mats and you also need a needle and a pair of headphones <laughs> uh, which usually come with a, an adapter so that you can pl actually plug it into the mixer. Just like that. On your mixer you have your crossfader which fades in and out between both tables. You have your up fader which controls the volume for both, both turntables. You also have your monitor volume for your headphones. On your turntable, you have an on-off switch. You have your start-stop switch. You have a 33 and a 45 setting for different speeds for different size records. You have a pitch slider, which speeds up and slows down the record. Some of the basic moves in scratching are chirps which is grabbing just the very beginning of a piece of sound. You have a flare, which cuts the sample in half. A transform is bringing a sound in very quickly using the middle of the track. Crab is a move that makes a trilling sound with the track by rolling your fingers over the crossbar. And when you put it all together, it sounds a little bit like this.